All right, in this video, I want to cover a couple of things about the uh, circuit schematic, uh, specifically the template and the sheet that we're going to build the schematic on. One of the things that you'll notice is that we've got down here, we've got the title block. Let me zoom in, rather in, to see what this is. All right, so down here at the bottom, this is called the title block. This is the block of information where you put the title. Uh, you can put all kinds of various other information. So this is just a default template. You know, here we have, uh, you know, it already has a couple um, texts here in which you can put the title, revision, sheet number of uh, total drawn by yourself, probably, uh, file name, then date. So some of these things uh, already have inf uh, information. They have parameters associated with it. So this one date is obviously going to be today's date. So anytime you open this up, it will automatically refresh the date and also the file name. So I'm just doing this as a default template. So this is just refers to the same up here as my um, file name. And uh, so the way that you can add information on here is that this is there's no actual text. There's no string here. Uh, so the way we do that is you go up here to uh, text string or you can just hit uh, text uh, T for text. So it'll tell you the shortcut. And so instead of actually typing the name, what we're going to do, we're going to use parameters. So I want to hit, uh, so before I actually place this, before I left click it, I'm going to hit tab. I'm going to bring up the uh, box. And so here, uh, so you'll notice instead of a, a regular text, this is what's called a special string. So we have the equal, uh, this is obviously not the, what I want to use, I want to use the title. So I'm going to scan down through it. Now we're going to use this. Now I could just type, you could just type equals title. So this is a special string that will associate with a parameter. So I'm going to click OK. Oops. And I'm just going to put that right there. So right now it's associating this uh, text string with a particular parameter. Uh, now I don't have, we don't have anything assigned to that. So we need to go to, you know, we need to go to projects and we want to go to document options. The shortcut for this is also just the letter O, uh, but for this video, I'm just going to keep going to the document options. So you click that and then we've got up at the top here, we've got different options. We've got sheet options. Uh, so we'll actually change this. Well, we'll change that in a second. So we're going to go to parameters. So we're going to go to title and uh, I'm going to call this template default setup. So I'm going to click OK, and automatically it updates the parameter and it says template default setup. Now you can also go in, you can change it times New Roman, uh, all the normal stuff. Let's change it to something fun. Let's change it, I don't even know what that is, Vivaldi. And let's do something large. That looks fun. Well, see now it's, yeah, that looks pretty good. Because this is the kind of text you would expect on something like an engineering document. Nice, fancy script, right? Ha! Huh. Yeah, good luck. Let's change that back to something normal and boring. Let's go gothic. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, that's at least somewhat more interesting. It's not like the god-awful, boring Times New Roman. So standard, you just want to... Anyway. <laughs> so that's a little bit better than just your normal uh, Times New Roman. Uh, so size A, that's just going to stay there. Um, number, the, um, you can put like your version number or uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, but we can also go in here. So if we have a multi-sheet design, so if I've got a number of schematics or a hierarchical design, uh, we can actually get this to not automatically number what number sheet this particular one is of the total. Now, in order to do that, we're going to, uh, we're going to, I'll just use the shortcut T for text string. And before placing it, I'm going to hit tab so I can select one of these special. And since obviously it's a sheet blank, I'm going to go with the sheet number. So I can just type it in or I can scroll down and I can take a select equals sheet number. Click OK. Now it's just an asterisk because I don't have anything assigned to it. Now here the, we got the snap grid. It's not terribly, it's at uh, 10 points. So uh, we can change that. Let's actually click tab. And I also want to, before we do that, I want to type sheet uh, equals sheet number of, so I want to add sheet total, which is the next one down. Sheet total, click OK again. That's also going to be an asterisk. And escape to select out of that. Now I want to, since uh, I want to have a little bit more fidelity or more uh, resolution 
to move this around because here it's going to be there or there. So I can go back, again, I can go back at the document options, uh, sheet options. So grid, snap grid, let's do that by half. And let's also make the lines the same. So that means I have uh, every time it snaps, it's going to be five. I don't know what the unit is, five, whatever. Um, all right, so it's basically, it'll just be half. And so we'll click OK. So now if I move this, it moves half. So I'm going to move that there. And I'm going to move that a little closer. So now if I click on it, there's nothing there. So you would think you would go up to document options and click parameters and find sheet number and sheet total, but it can actually do this automatically. So we're not going to, we're not going to manually do this. If you wanted to just type in one or one, that's fine. We're going to hit cancel. So instead of putting it right nearby, it's actually on the, the tools menu. And we want to go to uh, number of sheets. Click that. So we've, we've only got one. Uh, so I can, you can, I'm just going to do this automatically. Uh, so we're going to just go through an and automatic sheet number, automatic document number, and update sheet count, so which is the total. Uh, so we're not using this parameter, so we don't really need to do that. We're just using the sheet number and the sheet total. And so this is automatically updating the parameter that we have uh, assigned. So, and then just click once and go sheet one of one. So if I had multiple schematics, multiple sheets here, uh, then I would, um, you know, I could go through the same process. I could do it automatically. Uh, I could also set up uh, a little bit more manually. So you, you can rearrange if you have a list. I'll maybe do this in another video. We can, if you have a, a number of schematics, uh, it'll it'll automatically number everything one through however many you have. And so if you want, you know, certain ones to be sheet number one, sheet number two, then you would just actually, you know, like the move up, move down, or you can manually grab these and, and move them around. Uh, so that's how you would kind of control which sheet is what number. All right, so we also want to throw in, let's do the whole drawn by. So again, the process is we need to add a parameter, special parameter. I'm going to go back to projects, document options. And then we want to, since it says drawn by, we want to find the drawn by parameter. Now it's just uh, that. We want to go, uh, let's all put my name, Steve. Okay. Now we there's no actual text there. So we can, uh, just pressing T for bring up text. Or you can go back to home. Ah, just kidding. Or you can go back to home and text string does the same thing. I find uh, shortcuts is, is a lot faster instead of having to hop around and before placing it, press tab. And since we are doing the drawn by, I want to add the equals drawn by. And again, I could just type it, but I don't know. That seems like work. So I'll type that and automatically populates and we'll just pop that in there. All right. And uh, so I'm not going to bother doing a revision uh, or number. Actually, actually, let's just check that out tab let's see revision yeah so we can just do that we'll click that in there plop that in there so i'm going to do o for shortcut to the uh, document options parameters i'm going to do find revision and i'm just going to put one and there we go so that is how you work with the default template. So that is working with the default template and the uh, title block. Now, whenever you do your schematic, uh, this looks a lot more professional. You, know, you actually got the name of it. So when you, uh, if you were to go to print this out, um, then you would have all the information needed and uh, it just looks a lot better.